Ja, <laughs> kom her, pudding. Pudding, pudding, pudding. Pudding, pudding, pudding. Pudding, pudding, pudding. Pudding, pudding, pudding. Pudding! Let's look at pudding on One P. The greatest character in the show. I'm not kidding. I hate pudding. You guys know that. Okay, so why are we talking about pudding? What? Why do I hate pudding? Well, first of all, why don't we actually talk about pudding? Charlotte Pudding is the 35th daughter of the Charlotte family and a member of the Big Mom, Big Mom Pirate. <laughs> she, she is a hybrid between a human and a member of the Third Eye tribe. And she they made her debut in One Piece chapter 651. And she, her only purpose in the story is to be really annoying and marry Sanji. Yeah, okay, okay, listen, listen, guy, guy, I love Pudding. When she was introduced, I thought Pudding looked really cool. I really did. And then Oda made her a backstabbing bitch. Nothing wrong with that. That is Oda's choice as a writer. If Oda wants to make Pudding a backstabbing bitch, go ahead. I don't care. But the one thing you should not do with these characters is make them unlikable. But you know what? Let's talk about her history. Alright. So Pudding was introduced. She met up with Luffy, Nami, and the others in uh, Chocolate Town, I believe. And she explained to them the situation regarding Sanji. She gave them directions to get to Whole Cake Island. He helped them get into the seducing, he led them to the seducing woods where they got trapped. And she seemed overall pretty nice. There were theories when she popped up that Pudding was a traitor. It was evil. You were alright. I, I think. I mean, when I don't know where a character's loyalties lie, there's a problem. When your loyalties are clearly supposed to be known, but I'm not really sure at this point. But the Pudding showed up. She, uh, she ripped and she messed with Riju's memory and since they planned her, they were going to kill all the Vinsmo. She was going to kill Sanji. She, had, she was leading Sanji on like, oh, we'll be the perfect wife. We'll be, I'll be the perfect wife. I'll cook, you can cook food together. You, you'll be happy with me. Pudding was being a complete other bitch. Because it turned out she was a bitch and she had been leading them along. Lady Sanji along, yeah. Then something interesting happened during the wedding. Sanji, when he dodged the bullet, she saw her third eye for the first time and called her beautiful. And then she fell in love with Sanji. <sighs> Oda. Let me explain When you make a character that, let me tell you something, when you did a Pudding was hated by this fandom. Like, no one liked Pudding. She would have been, she would be, she's definitely the example of, of the worst kind of woman a woman can be. She was manipulative, I don't know how to that, but the point is she was manipulative, she was backstabbing, she was evil. I mean, and honestly, for a while I wondered what her, I, I was like, okay, is there a really good villain? Because I hate her. That Oda tried to turn her good, and he still is, with her helping bake the cake. Which I will talk about, which I will probably have talked about in my uh, One Piece 880 review. But the problem I have with all of this, the major problem is that Pudding is completely unlikable. So that makes this whole thing kind of pointless. Like, there's nothing to like about Pudding. But the idea of that is some people may find the personality switching really funny. It isn't very funny to me. It is. I laughed during my live reaction, but I laughed because of how stupid it was. I mean, they're either even laughing at something because it's stupid and laughing at it because it's legitimately funny. I laugh at things like oh, Naruto calling Obito the coolest guy. That's not supposed to be funny. That's just really bad writing on Kichimoto's part. That's why it's funny. Pudding is a completely unlikable character that no one here really likes besides people who think she's hot, which Pudding is, is pretty good looking, I won't deny that. How old is Pudding? Is that wrong? 
How oh, god damn it, how old is pudding? Shit. No, but um I really do enjoy pudding. I have major problems with what her character was handled. And the only real useful thing is it is revealed that members of the three eyed tribe can read the poneglyphs. With enough training. Which does make pudding which does give pudding a level of relevance that I didn't expect her to have. Now that we're putting relevant to the entirety of the rest of the story now, what I'm worried about is she'll to join the crew. And putting join the crew, I may have to draw off this theory. I get five pudding. And I think Oda really needs to get on this. And he has been doing really bad with his female characters lately. Like, he has good ones. He has really good female characters, like Carrot. I mean, I'm probably going to do a character, a character discussion. And next ne- time, it'll probably be a carrot. It'll be Naruto, Sake, or Carrot. But I love Carrot. Carrot is awesome. Alright? Carrot needs to join the crew. Vivi, there's join. I'm salty. Carrot should join. I see what Vivi just got in. See that? Vivi just got in coming. But, um, no, but, um, the problem I have with Pudding and Rebecca is that Rebecca, well, Rebecca I'm not even get into. But, Oda just handles his female character poorly. I hate everybody hate pudding, essentially. I don't know I don't, don't know too many people that like pudding. But a lot of people hate Shirahoshi, and a lot of people hate Rebecca. Now, I think pudding is the most poor I think Rebecca and Shiro and Shirahoshi were just unlikable characters. I think pudding is just badly written. I think Oda must, doesn't want to write Sanji beat up a woman. I don't think he wants to write a woman getting her ass beat by Luffy. So he's trying to write Pudding into being on their side. I don't understand why maybe Nami couldn't just electrocute her ass. Or maybe, who knows, maybe this whole thing with the cake is necessary because he, she, she, he feels that he, she, nah, and he can't work around Big Mom. I don't know. But whatever it is, when Pudding showed up and was like, I'm going to make a cake for Sanji, for Sanji for Big Mom, I was just like, Oda, Pudding isn't a likable character. You can't make Pudding likable. I'm sorry, you just can't. Pudding is unlikable, Oda. Get over it. She's completely unlikable. There is literally nothing redeeming about Pudding. There isn't. She's completely unlikable. Nobody likes her. She's annoying. Her most redeeming qualities are she can read Poneglyphs when she can't even do properly. Oh yeah, she has the ability to read Poneglyphs, but she's not good at it. She's not good enough at it to actually read them. And she's pretty good looking. Those are redeeming qualities. I mean, there's no, it's just pudding. Go to hell. I hate you. I legitimately hate pudding. If I'm going to be completely honest with you, I despise pudding tremendously. Now, I will tell you this much. Even though I don't like pudding, I do think she had potential. When Pudding was introduced, I asked him with a big fan. You can go back and check. I, do, I, I would not, I was iffy on the Pudding is Evil thing, but I, I'm pretty sure I was for that. I don't remember, but I remember being, I remember that people were saying Pudding was Evil. I don't know if I was exactly on a boat with that, because, but I definitely agree with it. Now, looking back on it, I think it was quite obvious. But tell me your thoughts um, in the comments down below. I know they were a lot shorter than the other one, but it, it all depends on the character I'm talking about. I just got to a character like Sakura, who has seven hundred chapter of content, it's gonna take a long time. And I'm cutting on my the one I'm cutting pudding. She hasn't even been in the story for like ten hundred chapters. Not ten, like a hundred chapters. So it's harder. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like the video you did. Subscribe for more videos. It's in One Piece Nation. This is Nyoko State. Signing out. Have a great day, guys.